All right, let's do this. Dealer Recruiter Life Applications Officer here. Um, I just got done watching a video by my man, What Do You Mean? Um, he was talking about Andrew Tate. Let's humble ourselves, America, for a minute, okay? Let me read this. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. That's God. The Lord is God, okay? He is to be feared above all gods. Wait for it. For all the gods of the peoples are idols. No. The atheists love to talk to us Christians about the other gods Zeus and uh, I can't pronounce them mytholic Greek mythologic names um, that well but there's so many gods well you know Zeus he did this too and you know uh, they talk to us about all these other gods and I'm like huh they never did anything. They're people that believe in that nonsense did things. Which, you know, things happened and they take credit for it. Now, and I just got done reading some other verses I read a lot. I read a lot after watching that Andrew Tate video. I'm like, everybody wants to be a god and everybody wants to conquer what they think is a god. Okay, you know, back in the day, they called Elvis Presley God because of his abilities to what? Turn women on more than any other man. Okay? Then they called, uh, they said religious stuff. <clears throat> You know, about all the other gods. You know, B.B. King, you know, Eric Johnson, you know, Muddy Waters, you know, going all the way back in time. They they said religious stuff. You know, I'm talking about guitar players here. Eric Clapton was called God. They said religious stuff even today about John Mayer and, you know, acting like these people are gods because of their ability to do something different than you can do why would somebody that doesn't even play guitar doesn't even want to sit down for a minute and take lessons call somebody that can play guitar a god when you can pick up a guitar and learn the same thing but see you can't be like god see the earthquake doesn't happen without god's approval the tornado doesn't happen without God's approval. The sun doesn't shine without God's approval. Okay, even the ozone layer doesn't crack until God says it is completely cracked, until it's time, until God's timing. Nobody is God but God and there's only one look it up there's only one God all the, the gods of the world are idols for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised he is to be feared above all gods for all the gods of the people are idols all the gods of the people are idols all the gods of the peoples are idols But the Lord made the heavens. Are you hearing me? All the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. 
I love the Bible. You need to read it sometime. Honor and majesty are before him. You say, how? We don't honor God. Seraphim, cherubim, archangels, and just angels. See, the difference between humans and any other being, including animals, any other being, the difference between humans and any other being on the earth is that God has given humans the biggest choice. And you say, well, if God is so great, and if he makes so much sense, why do we find it so easy to not worship him? D. Roy Cruz finds it very easy to worship him because of what God has done in my life. Because I see the big picture. Maybe you don't see the big picture. You think that everything's about your libido and that's okay. I see the bigger picture. I understand why I need God. I understand why I need to go back to God. I understand why I want to be on his side. On his team. One thing in the middle of your choice. That God did not give you. Is your ability to override him if you choose not to follow him you're all going to die and you'll die whenever he chooses you will die you could die today you know like that poor uh, diamond and silk okay what kind of people what kind of people what kind of people I'm glad God is God and not you. Or, I'm glad God is God and not these people on this planet. Like, what kind of people celebrate somebody's death? Now, they're cheering because is a diamond or so. One of them died. And I guess she died of COVID. Now, I got to admit, I said some things myself about COVID, and then two of my friends died of COVID. I, you know, at the beginning of COVID, I said, I don't get COVID. Well, I still didn't, I still didn't get COVID. I probably won't at this point. But I did say, in the beginning of COVID, I did say, I don't get COVID. I don't believe in COVID. It's a scam. You know, a lot of us said that. A lot of us Christians said that because, not because of Jesus, not because of the Bible. That's not in the Bible. We said that because we understand that you don't tamper with our freedom. And when we look at people and how they're using COVID to control, they're still doing it today. Right now as we speak, COVID should be about over. But they're still using it to control people. And there's people out there that are controlled by COVID to this day. Some of them because they had a loved one that died or they had it before or something, you know. But most of us uh, most of us don't really um, care. Either way. We just hope we don't get it. But I think it was Silk that died. Don't correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they were Trump lovers, and everybody cheered. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people, a lot of Democrats cheered. They actually cracked jokes and said all kinds of horrible stuff when. They died. To me, you should be jailed for crap like that. 
You should be jailed for crap like that. It's one thing if somebody said something against you personally. It's one thing if somebody um, had even um, spoken about your beliefs in a horrendous way like that, okay? But just because they're conservatives and they support Donald Trump and they're open about it, you feel that their death, or her death rather, is worth celebrating? I mean, celebrate me when I die, not because I did anything wrong, because I didn't. Hear me good, I didn't. But, celebrate my death because I'm going to be with the Lord. I told my daughters, when I die, I want music, I want a band there, I want music, and I want ice cream and cake. That's what I want going on at my funeral. Get out the music, get out the ice cream and cake because it's a celebration because I'm going to be with the Lord. Life has begun. Like a newborn baby being born in glory when I die. Don't be crying for me. Going to cry, cry because you're happy. No more sorrow and pain for this brother. I'll be with my Jesus. Okay? The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are idols. I don't give a rat's behind about Zeus or any of them other gods you keep talking about on my channel. What did they ever do to help the country? What did they ever do? They ain't got no followers. They ain't got, they ain't, you know what I mean? You making this up as you go along. You're making this up as you go along. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. And we're not talking about the local church, in case, you, in case you don't know. We're not talking about the local church. God has a sanctuary. God has the crystal sea. God has the, the most beautiful temple. He has a home in glory that he built not for himself. It's his. But he, didn't, he doesn't need it. He built it for us so that when we enter into that room in our new bodies one of these days, oh hallelujah, we will see him and everything that belongs to him as it really is. All this stuff right here will come to light. Give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. But even a lot of Christians don't give God the glory due to his name today. Given you know, arguing over the names of God and all this is not giving glory to his name. Oh my God, this and oh my God, this and holy SH, you know, all that kind of stuff is not giving glory to the name of God. Glory due, New King James Version, glory due to his name. Not so much the name as much as it is the glory due to the name that is the name of God or God with a capital G. The only true God. All the rest of them are idols. It doesn't matter what Zeus did or what Zeus thinks. Okay? It doesn't matter. Because they're, those are idols. They're not really, they're not, there's no 
gods with a small g. There's only God. What you call a god, a god, and many gods are idols. There's not many gods. There's only one true God. It's funny how atheists bring us up. See, when I argue with a Muslim, he assumes that we're, we're arguing over the same God. When I argue with a Jehovah's Witness or a Mormon or even a Satanist. Oh my God, even a Satanist. We're arguing over the one true God. But atheists, they try to throw other gods up in my face. Let me show you what, 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 what we got going on here when you throw another god up in my face. Oh, what you got here? Who is this? Zeus? Oh, okay. What is that? You can't do that to the real God. Because you're already destined to hell anyway. He doesn't need to punish you. You're not Christian. He's going to punish everyone that rejects him. Or, let me put it this way. If you miss out on the New Jerusalem, if you miss out on the assembly of the congregation in the New Jerusalem if you miss out on heaven you it's over you cannot afford to miss this forget about hell because there's only heaven and hell to not enter into New Jerusalem if you know anything about your Bible or my Bible all these videos I've done, okay? You know then that there's no purgatory between heaven and hell. If you, you know, you want to believe, the atheist religion believes that when you die, you just die. Mm, nice trick. nice trick that is the opposite the exact opposite of living for God because as a Christian everything I do here on earth builds me treasure in heaven that's what the Bible says store up your treasures in heaven so whatever I do good here starting with loving God and doing things that please God with a capital G Everything I do here builds up treasure in the kingdom. Okay? Everything good that I do. But the atheists believe that no matter what good you do or what bad you do, when you die, you die. There's no punishment. There's no answering for it. The only thing that you can say that affects you, and the atheist can't even can't even do that right okay this is how this is how much this is how you know they're lying they don't really believe this okay the atheists will say that when you die you die there's no thoughts there's no nothing to think about there's nobody to see you're just gone okay but yet you know what they show that they believe that um because of their use of drugs and alcohol and their use of illicit sex especially you know at the top of the page homosexuality okay uh, none of them hate none of them love you know being what they are biologically they if they're a woman then they want to be men if they're a man they want to be a woman they're never happy or content with anything that God has done And I'm not saying all atheists, but I'm saying, though, that when you are an atheist, it makes it easier 
to totally trash this earth because why there is no treasure being stored anywhere this earth to a Christian is a stepping stone to the next to the next universe you got to win your battles here first and then elevate yourself into the kingdom of heaven okay but the atheists they think it doesn't matter But, you know, and, and they show it the way they treat their bodies. They show it the way they treat their health. And they can't help themselves. And you know who I'm talking about. There's YouTubers here that start off the channel like this. You know, they got the wine glass going on, you know, cigarette and weed coming out of one side of the lip, wine in the other. And I mean, when I say wine, I mean they're getting drunk while they are doing a video. And they think it's funny. They don't take anything seriously. But they want you to seriously believe that there is no God. They don't take anything serious. And I believe that some of you are horrible atheists. I believe some of you, especially here on YouTube. The ones that have all this time to get on YouTube and... Okay... I believe that you are the, 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 you are the, you are what kills atheism. You really are. You're not helping any kind of theology or any kind of building up of the atheist community. You just trashed it with your attitude on YouTube trying to hate. You'd be better off letting those atheists that live a life of going to these debates and, and, and all like this, even, even though they suck too. It's like I did a video just recently, I think it was last night, where I talked about how atheists, you know, the, these big names, they try to win their debates by putting by 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 creating the game. It's like me making a game, and only I know the rules to the game. Okay, and everybody at the table, I can take on as many people as I want because it don't matter what you're what you're a scholar at because I made the game. No, that's not a red piece. That's a black piece. Flip it around. No, that, 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 well, it, 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 it's red, but it's called black. Okay? Flip it around, you'll see. You know, you know, I make the game. No, that's not your move. It's my move. Yeah, I just move twice. I get to move three times before you move. No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. The score goes backwards. You don't go up in numbers, you go backwards in letters. If I'm C, okay, that means you're that means you're F. I win. And that's the way these 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 atheists like Matt Dillahoney do. Oh, that's not called a Bible. Uh, I thought this was called the Bible. No. That that's that's called the Book of Marvels. Now explain to me where are we going with this, Matt? Explain to me how a uh, marble has a soul. Wait, 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 Matt, what are we what are we talking about? Nobody said a marble has a soul. Well, if there's really souls, a marble would have a soul. You know. That's how dumb he sounds when he talks. 
he makes these categories and he makes rules about these categories no it's this no it's that well wait a minute that's not in my bible matt i don't care what's in your bible god darn it get it shut that bible we're talking about what i'm talking about i i said it and if you don't like it you can leave um uh, matt this is a church. You're not on the atheist experience. Oh, okay. If you don't get what I'm saying, I'm going to leave. <laughs> but. You can't make rules. Okay, for other people. Now, let's talk about Andrew Tate for a second. Andrew Tate's problem is, number one, Andrew Tate started off his thing all about how, him. you know, he started off with Fresh and Fit. Now, I guess, you know, I guess Andrew Tate I guess fresh and fit is just, you know, like the atheist experience. You know, Matt Dillahunty is is going around the world, you know, um, preaching atheism and and trying to convert people to atheism, walking right in your church. Of course, they were dumb enough to invite him, walking right into your church and trying to convert your people to atheism. But um, Andrew Tate. You know, and, and Matt Dillahunty, I guess the atheist experience is just something that he does to, I don't know, get funds or or to, to make his so-called ministry bigger or what, whatever. But um, same thing was going with Brandon Tate. Not Brandon Tate. Um, what was his name? Andrew Tate. And Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit. Um, you know, the show is always a display of all these women with their boobs out, all sitting around the table, and you got Andrew Tate at the top, or either he's over here and his buddy's across from him. They're not saying much about the other guy, the shorter guy, the guy that was across from Andrew Tate. I guess that I guess the whole thing is really about Andrew Tate. The other guy is just, you know... Um, his 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 first officer or something. I don't know, but nobody say anything about him. Um, I'd like to hear more about the other guy. What's going on with him? Uh, you know, but it was all about Coochie. We went from Andrew Tate being Mr. Coochie Man, the Coochie Crook, and his buddy, his partner, being Coochie Crooks. And showing men how to be coochie crooks to women who didn't get their coochie robbed yet or either already had your coochie robbed, okay, by Andrew Tate, taking him down. Then Andrew Tate, on top of it, has the nerve to think that any woman that ain't wearing his ring on her finger is going to have a private conversation with him about things that he cannot talk to other women about. Seriously, Tate? You cannot practice fornication with women and then think that they're just going to get up Okay, every man out there, let me tell you something, this is what's wrong in this world. Every man out there that is a fornicator, especially sexually promiscuous, you lay down with women, get up, put your clothes back on like nothing happened, and you walk out of the room, and you see her on the street, and you tell your buddy, yeah, I screwed her. 
Yeah, that's another one I screwed. Oh, that girl coming out the door. I screwed her too. Yeah, yeah. Man, it seems like all the girls I screwed, man, are on that side of the street today. What's up, man? Is it my holiday or what's up? You know. You can't live like that. Andrew Tate is a prime example of, you know, if you got some money, take your money and run. But when you open up your mouth to talk about things that are, you, you think Christians got enemies because they, you know, Donald Trump got enemies. You know, there's a there's hundred ways to be, an, uh, to, to be considered an enemy. If you are so good, you make enemies. If you're too good. The only way you can really be good, good, really good, and not make enemies is if all your goodness is about you giving things away for free. Nowhere in the Bible, nowhere on the planet is that necessary. But that's what people want. They want you, oh, you're a nice guy. What you got? You got any money? Oh, you're a nice guy. What you got? Can I use you? What can you do for me? Okay? That's what people are like. You cannot be a nice guy and not give away everything that you have. Oh, I know so-and-so's a nice guy. Look at the house I'm living in. Look at the woman I'm with. Look at my net worth. I know he's a good guy. But because God doesn't just give, 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 give. People don't like God. Because Christians don't do better than God. Nobody likes Christians. But if you give, but I'm not satisfied, you don't like me. But I gave you. Or you gave to me. Why am I not satisfied? Maybe it's because there's a little bit of work involved on my side for me to do. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord glory to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. God doesn't want our money. When you give money to the church, you're not giving money to God. You're giving money to the expenses of the church. You're giving money to those that are worthy of their labor. That's just like, you know, I'm not even dumb enough to, to believe it. But when you give money to the fire department and the fraternal order of police, you're giving money to those that work as volunteers in that business. Okay? When you give, when you pay a tip to your Uber, you're giving money, okay, I hope so, because the Uber drivers don't talk about the tips, they just talk about their cut, but you're giving, you know, just like you know, when you go to a restaurant, you're giving money to the server because they are worth more than what they're making. And I understand that. 
you know, when I give a tip to an Uber driver, I understand that he's not a cab service. He's using his own car. You can never pay him enough money to use his own car. Okay? Cab drivers take tips too. Back in the day, but it was all cash. It wasn't, you know, you hardly ever use a credit card to give a cab driver um, a tip. And the tip wasn't through the company. It was through you personally to the cab driver. When he dropped you off at the airport, he you pulled out some ones out of your wallet on top of whatever your fare was and gave it to the cab driver. And the cab driver said, thank you. Because we understood that for the cab driver, more than the Uber and more than anybody else, just like a waitress, the cab driver is not making nearly what his salary should be. Okay? Only those that were poorer than the cab driver got out of that cab without giving a tip. Okay? My point is, we expect too much from God. God doesn't owe us a tip. God created us. The tip is right here. This is our tip. Well, God left us down here and we're going through all this human suffering. Well, you know, if sex is such a bad thing and if we can make up our own minds about sex, then what's the problem? This is why they want to burn Bibles. Well, is it about politics or is it about something more spiritual? How are men and women so different aren't they basically the same they just have different parts how should we raise our children how do we make it to heaven how do we get to hell what is an atheist what is a Christian Why is Steve Ray Cruz got glasses on? <laughs> got glasses on because I'm reading from my Thompson chain and the print is very small. Thank God for blessing the men and women of America and whatever other country to know how to make glasses. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns, the world also is firmly established. Nothing is more established than the earth. Okay? It shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously, whether you're an atheist or whether you're a Christian or something in between if you think that you atheists get to be over here and everything is in between because actually you're just non-believers you're just more ignorant and you have a level of stupidity that doesn't um, hit the, the you know it's not here in the middle it's really extreme okay it's one thing not to believe in God. It's one thing to think that you can explain why you don't believe in God. It's another thing altogether. You, it's another thing altogether for you to act like it's my fault that you don't believe in God or it's God's fault that you don't believe in God. That's, a, that's another thing altogether. Not our fault. Okay, because when my mom brought me up, 
My mom never lied to me and said that, well, this is God. You can find God over there. Look, look, if you pay attention, you can see him, D-Roy. D-Roy, look over there. You see God? My mom didn't do that. I knew that I have to believe in God. I knew that when I was this small. I'm small now, okay? But when I was this small, I knew I had to believe, 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 I hate that word, believe in God. Some of y'all act like there's God right there. You can't see it, idiot. See, he's flying away. See? See, look, look, look. He just picked up that coconut with his beak. Come on, people. That's a bird. It's not God. Now, there's people who believe that birds are gods. Gods with a small g. They ain't squat. And if D-Roy ain't a scared, if D-Roy ain't a scared of birds, they ain't squat, because I'm scared of everything. I used to have birds for pets. Three or four different types. I ain't scared of no birds. I just don't want them landing on me, that's all. I'm scared of swallows, okay? Squallows? Swallows. Especially when they're indoors, because I don't know if they have eye problems or whatever, but when they're trying to get away from you, they bounce off you in a dark room and they you know whereas a bat well I've heard of bats landing on people too matter of fact I believe a bat landed on me that's why I ran and tripped over myself over my shoestrings running out of the ball field when he got when the sun went down I'll make a video about that one of these days <laughs> Hey, let me close this video. Say among the nations the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in all the fullness. Let the field be joyful in all that is in it. Then all the trees of the woods will rejoice before the Lord. Okay, that's, that's some signs right there. There's some signs for you right there. <laughs> okay, I remind me of that song we used to sing, and let the trees of the fields will clap their hands. The trees of the fields will clap their hands. The trees of the fields will clap their hands as we go out with joy <laughs> and the trees of the woods will rejoice before the Lord we, God don't need you to do nothing for him because what you don't know is that your dog your cat the trees of the fields the waters the sun the moon the stars all worship him while you calling the sun a separate god, you calling the birds separate gods, you calling anything that you can see a god except God. Okay. For he is coming. Oh, hallelujah. He is coming. For he is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with what? His truth. He's not going to judge you because you thought saving the puppies was such a good thing or a bad thing. He's not going to, you know, he's not going to, you know, put you on a pedestal, okay, because you slept with another man's wife and she's much happier now. She's more happier than she's ever been. She loves the sex, she loves the money, the house, the state, the car. You know, how could a dog really be so bad when she's so happy? She's so happy. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. There is so much in this Bible on God.
understand who God is and what God is, but the trick of the atheists is to um, act like God is made up because gods with a little g are idols. They, they, they're kind of confused as to how there can be gods and there can be a true God. To an atheist, they want us to think that it's just all gods with a little g and us Christians are the most stupid of all the people who practice worship of gods with a little g. But I encourage you to stop being an idiot. And stop being so satanic. Okay? And think about your life for a moment. What do you have that God didn't give you? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. God reigns on the just and the unjust. You ain't got nothing. If you're breathing, you're breathing because of God. Almighty God with a capital G. You're not breathing because, you know, you eat enough, you know, trail mix or you eat enough salads. You're breathing. That helps. But you're breathing because of God. There's people dying today that are fitness experts, that are nutrition counselors, doctors. And there's people dying today that are in the best of shape and best of health. When it's your turn to go, you will go. It doesn't matter how much of an atheist you were or how much of a Christian you were. When it's, when it's your turn to go, you will go. And you will go to the only clue that we have of where you're going to go. Science does not tell you where you're going to go when you, when you die. Atheism does not tell you or explain to you where are you going to go when you're going to die? This whole thing of, oh, when we die, you just die. Uh, where's that written at? Where's it written? Where's the document for that? See, everything's got a document. Atheists have no documents. And then you want to say, we believe in, 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 in fantasies. Well, wait a minute, we have documentation for what we believe. What do you, where's your documents? Oh, well, eventually we're going to make an atheist Bible. Right. Just like the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Mormons and the, the Satanic Bible. Here I go on and on and on and on and on. Everybody made a Bible to blaspheme this one. But you know what? There's going to be, there's going to be hundreds of thousands, millions of people going to hell. My question is why, Lord? But that's the only question I have. Why, Lord? Why, isn't there another way? But you see a guy out there, an atheist out there, burning a Bible. Dude, has anybody ever set you on fire? Do you know what it's like to be on fire? But yet, you want to sit there and say, Oh, I'm going to be in hell with my friends. Well, wait a minute. You just said that you don't believe in God. Well, it's God that had his people document what hell might be like. What does it say in, in, in the document? that you're going to see your friends down there. See, you're going to talk to me. You're going to argue with me. Argue with me real. Come at me real. Let's not play games and be silly. You know, it's like atheists are like the kid in class who's sitting there and saying, this whole room is stupid. Why are we studying this? This whole room is stupid. I want to go home. We'll go home and F you. Get out of my class. No, I'm staying. Well, sit up straight and no. For what? Why do I need to sit up straight? What's wrong with me sitting like this?
Dear Recruit Your Life Applications Officer, thank you for watching. I'm going to do a part two of this video because why? It was good. It was freaking good, man. Having a great time. Got to do more, more of this. In Jesus' name. God bless.